Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com, your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Reach out to me directly, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. Today, we're discussing what might be the best Rolex Sky Dweller yet. This is the Oyster Perpetual Sky Dweller, a GMT annual calendar, 42 millimeters in rose gold with Oyster Flex strap. 326235 is the reference. This was launched in 2012. Now, the timepiece is 42 millimeters in diameter by 13.8 millimeters thick by 50.5 millimeters lug to lug with a broad 22 millimeter spacing between the lugs. The Sky Dweller originally launched in full gold back in 2012, but the breakthrough years for the model were 2017 with the arrival of steel and 2020 with the arrival of the Oyster Flex strap bracelet. And you can see on my wrist, which is 16 centimeters in circumference, it's a good fit. I wouldn't wear it on a wrist smaller than perhaps 15 centimeters circumference because it is a broad watch, uh, but it's not comically thick. For how much is inside, this will actually fit decently underneath the cuff, and the watch is nicely counterweighted by the clasp, which is also in rose gold. Take one last look down the barrel, one last look over the top, and then the cuff shot one more time. Okay, I call this a bracelet because Rolex calls it a bracelet, and it is. Inside the Oyster Flex, and that is its name, is a nickel titanium alloy that is enormously flexible but will not tear. As a result, this cannot be cut to length or trimmed or torn the way a conventional strap can. It's fully integrated into the case band, so no daylight shows, and then there's a ridge running down its center to sort of emulate the lines of a bracelet. It's all matte finish, and you can see there are bellows on the underside, and this is there to ensure a secure fit, since you can't cut this bracelet ultimately, uh, you do need to find a close fit or as close as possible a fit. So having elastic bellows underneath helps the watch to cinch down and secure itself on the wrist if you're a little bit between sizes. It also helps to build up an air pocket that vents the wrist well. You have a oyster style clasp with a lift lock system. You can see this is a little bit more relaxed than the hardcore sports watches since it doesn't also have a clamshell lock. But you will note that it has a significant upgrade over most Rolex clasps in that it uses the glide lock system from the dive watches, so two millimeters of incremental adjustment and quite a large range over those two millimeter increments. You'll appreciate that because you're going to get the right fit and you're going to be able to resize on the fly if your wrist changes size. Polished case, more like a big date just or a day date than any of the super case sports watches. All of I polish, compound curves, lovely tapered lugs. It's not excessively squared off, nor is it sheer on its side. So think of it as a really big date just. I've often joked that this is the date just three. Uh, and now that it's available on a Jubilee for 2021, it almost is. We have a twin lock crown, two dots. That's how you know you're looking at a twin lock in gold. Screw down, 100 meters water resistant. The bezel, which is of course beautifully fluted and handsomely faceted, it's actually part of the movement, the caliber 9001. Let's talk about its bare specs and then we'll get to how this watch works. Underneath the solid gold case back caliber 9001, 40 joules, bi-directional automatic winding, 72 hour power reserve, COSC chronometer, but also a superlative chronometer, which means it gets the COSC certificate as a bare movement, but as a fully cased up watch, Rolex then times it to keep at least minus two plus two seconds per day or better. Stop seconds, full balance bridge with a free sprung index for shock tolerance, a handmade Breguet overcoil to help it keep excellent time in any physical position and gain that chronometer certificate, an anti-magnetic hairspring made of blue oxidized neobium zirconium, anti-magnetic material Rolex calls Parachrom Blue, and the watch uses a rotor bearing rather than a jeweled staff for greater shock tolerance. Older Rolex movements use a jeweled staff. All of this beats away at 28,800 vibrations per hour. It has a 24-hour second time zone, so GMT functionality and then it has an annual calendar that is bi-directionally settable. Let's talk about that for a moment. I mentioned that the bezel is part of the movement. You know, when I pull the crown out to the first position, here we wind, but in that first position, nothing happens. Now, turn one click counterclockwise. Now you'll note that I can actually adjust the date in both directions. A note that there's a little red index that jumps from aperture to aperture 12 hours corresponding to 12 months. You can see right here, we are on 3-3, three, three, so that is March 3rd. But note that I can turn it in both directions, and I can jump to April Fool's Day. 
and I can do that bi-directionally. There is no hazard to the watch, and because it's an annual calendar, it only needs to be adjusted once a year during the jump from February to March. Now let's turn one more click counterclockwise. Now I can freewheel the local time, and you can see I can drive the date by doing that, but the watch is still ticking. I'm not affecting the minutes. I'm not affecting the 24-hour second time zone. One more click counterclockwise. Now everything is synced. What you do is you first set your 24-hour second time zone. So for example, I want to set 4 a.m., then turn it one click clockwise, and you set your local time, and that's just how you do it. Also note that when you turn counterclockwise, only in that position, fully justified counterclockwise, can you activate the hacking seconds function. So, if you love this watch, and there's a lot to love, it may be Rolex's most capable timepiece, reach out to Tmaso at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details. The Sky Dweller by night, Rolex makes its own chromolite blue loom. They also make their own bracelets, clasps, cases, dials, hands, movements. They even smelt their own gold, and they make their own ever-rose, forever rose gold alloy, as you see on this watch. Reach out to Team Also at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.